Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be basically me just messing around with some makeup. I have been very uninspired recently so I went back and watched a load of old beauty YouTube videos that I loved back in the day and I feel a lot more inspired. I feel like at the moment what is in fashion isn't my style. So don't get me wrong, the clean girl makeup look is beautiful but where's the colour? I want bright, I want glitter, I want full coverage. So right I'm just going to do something that I love because I know there's going to be other people out there that like this type of makeup as well. Apparently it's going to be coming back into fashion this year, which I'm so thankful of. I want bright lips, I want full coverage, I want glitter, I want cut creases, you know. I just want old makeup styles back, that's all I want. So today I'm just going to be messing around with some makeup. I have all of my makeup here in this little box I'm going to be using today. I know what colour I want to do and I kind of have like a bit of an idea of what I want to do. I'm going to be swapping over to a voiceover for this video just because there's construction going on and it's really noisy and I know that the second they start banging it's going to get really really annoying so I'm going to swap over to a voiceover but I also just want to say quickly as well because this is my first video talking that I've filmed since New Year. Happy New Year. It's a bit late. Hopefully you guys all had a really lovely Christmas and New Year. This year I'm going to try my best to film as much content as possible. So at the moment I'm currently pre-filming videos. So I've got one video filmed and half edited. Obviously this one and then I'm off again in two days. So I'm going to try and film some more then. So hopefully when I've got a couple of weeks worth of videos ready to go, I'll start uploading them. But I thought there's no point in me just like uploading videos when I want to get into a bit more of a routine. But yeah, Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, we're just going to jump straight on in with today's tutorial. To begin with, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. And I'm just running that through my brows with a spoolie. To carve out my brows and prime my lids, I'm taking my trusty P. Louise base in the shade Rumour 2. I've honestly had this for so long and I use it in every video and it's still going. Honestly, I have a spare one. I just haven't needed to use it yet. But today I'm carving out my brows. I'm using the Zoeva Soft Concealer Brush. And then I'm also just dragging any excess onto my lids, the inner corner of my eyes, and then blending it out towards my temples as well. But somehow I for my transition shade today, I'm using this shade here from my model's own palette. I honestly don't even know how to describe this colour. It's just the perfect transition shade for my skin tone. So I'm just applying this through my crease with a big blending brush. Next up, I'm going into the NYX Ultimate Brights palette and I'm packing this blue shade all over my lid just to get some of that blue pigment down. I'm now going in with a blending brush and trying to blend those edges. Honestly, this was really difficult. I ended up having to get some of the eyeshadow onto the brush just to help blend it out. I then went back in with the first brush that I used with a little bit more of that transition shade just to try and help blend everything together. To deepen up the blue, I went in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Star Cobalt. This is the most gorgeous navy blue eyeshadow and it also has all these absolutely gorgeous glitter reflects in them as well and I'm just packing this all over that first blue shade and then taking a clean blending brush and just trying to diffuse the edges of that star cobalt shade I'm now going in with the moon dust palette and I'm taking the shade Vega this is such a gorgeous blue eyeshadow topper it is stunning and I'm just applying that all over the lid I'm then taking my smoky shader brush from Zoeva, it has a little bit of that star cobalt shade left on it and I'm just really carefully winging out the eyeshadow look because I wanted more of like a soft winged look. Clearly two glitter eyeshadows are just not enough for me so I'm going to go in with a glitter liner. This one is from W7 and it is one of their flash metal glitter eyeliners. I'm not sure which colour it is but it's got blue, white and silver reflex in it but it just looked so pretty and I thought it would look lovely with this makeup look. And I'm just applying this to the first third of my eye. I then went in with the Barry M waterproof eyeliner and applied some of that to my lower lash line and then for upper lash eyeliner. I couldn't think of what the word was then. I'm going in with my trusty Maybelline Lasting Drama Liquid Liner and I'm just drawing a really thin line because I didn't want to take too much away from the eyeshadow look. 
I'm really sorry, I'm trying to keep up with the video, but I just can't do it, I'm going too quick. So for mascara, I'm using the Butanic Nourishing Mascara. Next up, I'm taking the MAC Prep and Pram Essential Oil, and I'm just applying this all over my face. I'm going to let this sit for a couple of minutes whilst I pop on my false lashes. Now we've let that sit for a little bit, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I love this foundation. So initially I'm using my Zoeva Silk Finish Brush, but I then swapped over to a sponge as certain foundations work better with certain tools. So personally I find this foundation works better with a sponge, some foundations work better with a brush, some work really good either way. It's just whatever you prefer. For concealer, I'm taking the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. I really like this concealer. I think it feels lovely. And I'm just applying this to my under eyes. And I'm also going to use this to help sharpen the wing of the eyeshadow as well. I do go in with this brush. This one's a Morphe brush. I can't remember which one it is, sorry. But I'll leave it linked down below if I remember. I then just go over this with a sponge as well, just so that everything's blended nicely. I don't want any harsh lines between foundation and concealer. So well, I miss that sweetness out there for powder, I decided to go in with this MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Powder and just use this under my eyes. I've never really got on with this before, but today I felt like it worked okay, so I'm glad that I give it a go. I'm then taking my trusty Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder and just popping that all over the rest of my base. I'm now taking the Kinda Beauty Kind Bronzer and I'm applying this to my cheek to my temple and my forehead and this is just to bronze up and bring a little bit of colour back into my skin as I'm really pale at the moment I really need to pop some fake tan on for contour I'm going in with MAC Sculpt and I'm just popping this on the hollow points of my face so my cheekbones and added a little bit to my forehead as well then for blush I'm going in with MAC Blush Baby I felt like this was going to look beautiful with this eyeshadow look and I feel like the colours work really nicely together then for my highlight I used this this is from Sleek I think it's a Solstice palette and I applied this in all the usual places I also added a little bit to my inner corners as well just to finish off the eye look for my lips i wanted something quite muted so i'm going in with this lip palette here this is from mac and i'm taking the shade creme de la femme and then i'm gonna go on top of that with a lorac is it lorac lorac this is just a lip gloss i honestly don't know what the name of it i think it's like ceo or something like that i don't even know if you can still get this anymore just in case i ever forget to say what a shade is or what a particular product is i always leave them in my down bar and here is the finished makeup look i'm so happy with how it turned out i feel like everything just flows really nicely the pink from the lips and from the blush goes really nice with the navy from the eyeshadow i'm just really happy with how it turned out there was a point when i was blending out the eyeshadow and i was a bit like oh my god what am i doing but i'm so glad that i stuck it out because i honestly think this is one of my favorite makeup looks that i've ever done i feel like even though it is a navy blue it's still quite wearable what do you guys think i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let me know what you think of this look as well down in the comment section and i will see you all in my next video bye everyone Thank you.